Good morning. It's Friday the 9th of September 2022. It's very, well, raining one minute, blue sky the next, raining one minute, blue sky the next, like that today. Um, <clears throat> it's about quarter past eight. This time yesterday I was in the shop, but I'm not rushing down today. It felt like a very long day yesterday. And uh, I think everyone's in a bit of a subdued mood, aren't we? Um, sad news of the Queen's death yesterday. Um, yeah, it's a sad, sad day. But I'm not going to dwell on it because there will be enough things talking about the Queen and everybody's feelings about the matter everywhere for the next few weeks. So that's the reason I won't be talking about it. Plans for the day. Well, we'll have to see how busy the shop is. Um, it was okay yesterday, nothing special, but I did get things done. So my plan is to carry on and list a few more bits on my website, do some more sorting of Christmas stock and um, generally keep going. It's a funny day yesterday. I was in downstairs a long time and I didn't stop working the whole time. And yeah, I couldn't tell you really what, what I did, but I did do stuff. <laughs> So it's going to be like that again today. But, as I said, I'm not in any rush. It's not very nice weather. And so I'm going to have my coffee and I'm going to sit on the sofa and give Jenny a cuddle because she's feeling a little bit subdued because my husband's gone to the allotment and left her. She doesn't like that at all. So we're going to sit on the sofa and have a cuddle while I drink my coffee. It's about quarter to 11, I've had a few people in. I didn't open till nearly 10. Took Jenny for a walk, had a chat with my sister-in-law on the phone. And um, yeah, and I've been open since 10, I've had a few people in. Uh, I just don't know how it's gonna be for the next couple of days, but we'll see, won't we? Um, thank you to, bear with Kath. <laughs> Thank you to Kath for ordering on my website. Very much appreciated. I will pack it, get it parceled up. Um, whether I get it to the post office today, I don't know. But there are strikes at the moment anyway, so it may be a bit delayed. But I will do my best. Right. Find some jobs to do. I'm just looking at my little... You can't see because the light always shines funny off here. But I've got my cufflinks in here. I've sold a few recently. So it's looking a bit untidy. So it's really difficult to do that display because I come in from the back. So I have to sort of open up the back, tidy up how I think it'll look, then walk all the way around to the front to see how it looks, then go all the way back and try and adjust it. Anyway, you don't need to know these things, do you? I'm just rabbiting on. I'm just editing a video for my husband's channel. Um, there's a link in the description box below. It's mainly gardening and this one is an allotment tour. So they're always really really nice to get on the toys because you can see what everybody else has been up to um yeah so i'm editing that now and uploading that um while well, i serve the odd customer and um i just sold something on my pottery studio pottery shelves which was taking up a bit of space can you remember it was like a cheese plate with a little mouse on it just sold that so i'm going to rearrange things so that there isn't a gap <laughs>
12 o'clock and I've had a shop full for the last hour or so, although not spending a great deal. <clears throat> so the wax melts arrived. Um, so I've got lots of the lovely ones that I've already had back in stock, um, including the obviously lemongrass and ginger and um, Seychelles and things like that, ones that you'll know, but there are also three new scents that she picked out for me. Um, this one looks lovely, Fig and Dewberry. That's a new one. Mandarin and Sandalwood. That's a new one. And can I find the other one that's new? Oh, here it is. Myrrh and Tonka. She said it's a sort of autumnal one. Looks pretty. Um, but yeah, dark honey's back in stock. That white patchouli and clove is back in stock. Pomegranate noir. Um, Thai lime and mango. All the good ones. <laughs> I didn't fancy a sandwich. Look, got a tomato, a baby bell, some uh, hot mitts, broken crackers, and the last bit of the soft cheese that we had in the fridge. A little picnic. Um, it's about half past two. It's been really busy today with just people milling about. It's just a strange sort of day. Um, <clears throat> just bought a few bits off a customer. I'm just going to show you really quick because I'm sure it won't be long before the next customer's coming. So I got this teddy bear. He's uh, Concord, so he's a little bit dusty. I got this box here, sewing box, there's sewing bits in there. A couple of old tools, a box of commemorative cups, and a load of old collector spoons. It's about four o'clock and it's gone a little bit quieter. So I thought we'd have a look in this little box that's got the sewing bits in. I haven't really looked what's inside it. She just said it's a sewing box. I opened it up, saw there was some sewing bits in the top and that was it. So shall we have a look together? Right, I've tried to position my tripod so that you can see. There were a couple of little spoons. Most of them were just those collector's ones, but I found these two, which I've put to one side to have a better look at. They've both got tiny little marks just on the rim and I think they say 800 so that's like a low grade silver those two are quite pretty so I'll put them to one side to work on the others I've just put on as a job lot on my website and on Etsy now here we go here is the job lot that's coming out of that box so I'll show you them I'll pull them out and let's have a look um Pockets, maybe? Are they pockets? They look like pockets to me. Mending fabric. Sorry, this is at a funny angle, but it's the only way I can get my tripod to show you it down with this little tripod that I keep in the shop. Um, is that like when you lose your cord, like on your pajamas or something, and you want to pull it through? That's what that looks like to me. 
the actual name of what it is, is there? Obligatory box of pins. Nice big pair of crimping scissors. And there's a couple of thimbles. Not silver ones though, unfortunately. There we go. I've got so many tape measures, you would not believe. There are some little things of thread, just the plastic bobbins, though not um, none of the wooden ones, unfortunately. Nice bright red, bluey grey. That's one of those. A little bit of elastic. Another thimble. Some nice big safety pins then some odd bits like this i've got some easy hem no sewing oh that's maybe what i need what's this oh it's like a needle case homemade that's a lot of needles as well Another one of these, must be a pocket. It's gotta be a pocket, hasn't it? Looks like a pocket to me. Is that something else somebody's been making? What's that? Any ideas? Answers on postcard? Some little nail scissors. I should probably keep those. I can never find mine when I need them. Um, what are these? Maybe, okay, so you'd put it along and press it like that as you're cutting. Oh, that's clever. Like that. Another tape measure. Never have enough. And some ribbon. And some elastic. A little paper bag. What's in the paper bag? Oh, missed my hand completely. Pretty little gold buttons. About half a dozen. Like that. So clumsy. And then finally, some more buttons. So, unfortunately, no treasure, but I'll have a little sort out and split it out. And uh, what I do is I sell things for like 50p, and the scissors I'll maybe get three or four pounds for things like that gotta make your money with all the little pennies that add up together you see <laughs> that's how you make your money back right i've shown you my little sewing bit on tap i've sold a few bits off there actually in the last few weeks let me show you so these are buttons until they've been rifled through um little packets of buttons some jars of buttons they're empty wooden bobbins but i had some with thread on as well and then little things of ribbon. So all the oddments of ribbons, I just put them in a bag. 50p, I sold a few of those. 50p thimbles. There's a little pin cushion there. Oh look. Three of those. <laughs> Some pins. And then down here, these are odd bits that I just let people have for free. Anything that I'm not sure about, or it's not really worth anything. Just rather than it being thrown away. So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I don't know what's been in it. I've forgotten already, but I hope it was okay. Um, thumbs ups for Jenny. Always appreciated. I've just kicked a little shelf. Um, I think this vlog will be going out on Saturday. So have a great weekend. No, this might even be going out next Tuesday. Hope you've had a good weekend. <laughs> and uh, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.